Hey everyone, I uh, bet you didn't expect to see me here. I mean, I did say that uh, I wouldn't release any videos up until October at the very least because I'd be busy with a bunch of online courses and also uh, transitioning into high school during such a uh, weird, to say the least, time period. Weird and difficult time period for most people. Um, so that's why I would upload uh, until October, but uh, obviously today is an exception to that. So, uh, Today, I, I'm going to talk about uh, these fraction manipulatives, which I think most uh, most people who are uh, learning about fractions and are in distance learning would find pretty interesting and useful. Uh, so I had the idea for these fraction manipulatives uh, when my sister was learning about fractions and she uh, wanted something to help her. So I eventually came up with the idea of these fraction manipulatives, like these fraction pieces put into a holder, universe, like compatible pieces, like over here, different pieces. And like you can fra add fractions and subtract fractions using this holder. So um, how this works is that there are uh, 31 pieces in total, uh, including uh, two half one half pieces. Uh, four one quarter pieces, eight one eighth pieces, and uh, sixteen one sixteenth pieces, and lastly the thirty first piece is the holder. Um, the colors aren't really that important, but if you want to get the, the colors, uh, they're not predetermined. I just decided to print them in this color. They're not really that important, but if you want to get the most out of these these uh manipulatives. I'd recommend printing each type, uh, each type in a different color. Like uh, half pieces would be like all printed in like blue, for example. A quarter pieces would be printed in red. Uh, eight pieces printed in yellow, or sixteen pieces printed in brown, or whatever. Just make sure if you want to get the most out of these, print them each type in the same color and have different colors for each type. Uh, yeah, I think I made sense enough. Uh, so uh. Yeah, the files are in the description if anyone wants them. Uh, I just wanted uh, I wanted people to be able to freely access them. So uh, I really appreciate it if you didn't use it for commercial purposes. Uh, I'd hope if I'd really appreciate it if you just used it for personal or uh, educational purposes. And uh, by all means, please share this to anyone who needs this. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and continue explaining uh, the neat little things about these uh, fraction manipulatives. The most important thing about these uh, manipulatives is that there are four functions of them. One is the actual four components. One is the actual visual piece itself, like how it fits into the holder and how it com compares with other pieces. The other three parts are just uh, um, what's written on it. Or uh, printed on it more accurately. Uh, first, there's the fraction printed on it uh, for the half pieces. Uh, then there's the decimal, and then there's the percentage. All of these would be the same value, uh, equal to a half piece. So a uh, half piece would be one over two, one half, zero point five, and fifty percent. That same thing would work for the quarter pieces and all the other pieces. For a quarter piece, that would be one over four. 0.25% and 25%, 0.25 and 25%. Um, for an eighth piece, one eighth piece, that's one over eight, 0 0.125 and 0.5%. And lastly, for a 16th piece, that is one over 16, 0 0.0625 and 6.25%. A nice little thing you can do with these pieces is that they are mutually compatible, meaning that you can combine these pieces. Um, and you can have different combinations of these pieces to reach one whole. Like this is one of the combinations. You can uh, combine one uh, half piece, one quarter piece, one eighth piece, and two sixteenth pieces and get a whole. So in this you'd realize that uh, one half would be equal to one quarter plus one eighth plus two sixteenths. A quarter would be equal to one eighth plus two sixteenths and then one eighth would be equal to two sixteenths. And uh, you could do use really any combination that works. And you, with this principle in mind, you could find out what different fractions add up to a whole. But it doesn't necessarily to be, have to be up to uh, a whole. 
you can just you, uh, see what kind of fractions add up to other other fractions instead of a whole. Like you could do basic uh, fraction adding and subtracting. Like, uh, see, look at this. This one, one eighth piece over here. This one eighth piece is made of two one sixteenth pieces. That's add addition. One eight sixteenth plus one sixteenth would be equal to one over eight. One over eight. And you could also do subtraction. Like one over eight minus one over sixteen would be one over sixteen. You could do basic adding, basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, whatever. It's is a uh, fraction manipulatives. So I hope you. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and. Uh, if you are in need of these pieces, if you uh, are interested in these pieces, the links are in the description below. It's a Google Drive file. Um, it's publicly accessible to anyone who wants it. And uh, like I said, um, I'd really appreciate it if you just used it for personal or uh, educational purposes. And uh, by all means, please share it to anyone who needs it, uh, be it uh, be a teacher, a parent, a student, just anyone who needs this. Uh, yeah, I I really like to see a lot of people uh using this, getting the maximum use out of this as possible. So um, enjoy your day, stay safe, and uh, until the next video, bye.